Hello YouTube, Super Sketch here back with another video and today we're doing something a bit different. Not entirely Minecraft unrelated, but certainly not Minecraft. It is in fact something Cube World related, which is a nice game. And uh, if you saw my 1000 subscriber special, you have seen me playing this and I am in fact enjoying this game a lot. Now I have said before that this channel is Minecraft focused, but that does not mean I cannot post other stuff because it's not Minecraft exclusive. It's just Minecraft focused, and uh, I would certainly like to do other stuff. Uh, Cube World is one of the things that I have. Well, I found one thing in Cube World recently that is quite interesting. And uh, if you play Cube World, um, then you might have heard of this. And if you're not playing Cube World, then what the hell are you doing? So uh, please don't spam me with. Oh, you said blah, blah, blah. shut up. I can post whatever I want. It's my channel. Now. What we're going to take a uh, look at today is editing models in Cube World. And when I say editing models, I mean editing models. I mean I don't mean creating new models. Uh, there are various tutorials on how to do this, but I just thought it was very cool and I just want to share it once more so there is essentially more sources to find this stuff. So, let me show you what I have created. Here we got my character. It's the guy I played on and um, what I have created I've created a custom face for one of the races I have created a custom face for uh, oops, the race is up here for the undead and it's in fact a male and it's face number four there we go now you may recognize this I it was the first thing I did um, I thought it was very cool and uh, I'm also going to edit um, uh, his torso and uh, his hands so they match uh, his head a bit better. Um, obviously I'm obviously I'm going to show you how to do this in this video uh, I, but I just thought it was very cool, very very what you can do and uh, I think it looks extremely cool. I'm definitely going to play with this though I'll just say this now when you edit the head uh, because you can't create new models in Cupel with this, it's kind of kind of annoying. Uh, but if you edit the head of of your your character customization, that head is used in the world as well. So I'm assuming I haven't run into any undeads. So I'm assuming that they will also have that head, and that could be very annoying if you do something like this that would be very annoying because this is very special I mean it's it's just not gonna look good and it's gonna look weird and you are oh I'm not special anymore so um just keep that in mind this is mainly f to me it's mainly a tool where I can create cool characters and and just walk around and uh, I really thought I would share that with you so let's first off take a look at how we do this so we'll just exit cube world and uh, we'll just keep this window open for now. So the first thing you need to do is you need to do go download two zip files um, and I'll post the links in the description below. So the first one is here, it's GitHub uh, and it's the asset browser and you just download it right there. And then there's the second one which is the Cube World model editor and uh, the download link is this one right here. So when you download those you get two zip files and uh, I suggest just creating a folder and extract the two zip files here and you'll get all this. So this one comes from the model editor and these four files come from the asset browser. So the first thing you want to do is, I'll just minimize that for now, we can use that later. The first thing you want to do is uh, open the model editor and we'll say run of course. You can obviously click that back. now. All of mine are loaded right now, but what you want to do is you want to say file, open database, and you'll find your cube world um, folder, which is uh, probably under program files. And here mine is, so I'll just say OK. And uh, you, you can see it reloads all the files. And there we go. Great. Now we'll also open the asset browser. We don't need that right now, but we might as well just open it now and show you what is really useful. I'm just going to unclick that. Run. Great. And we have nothing except for file. So we choose op we click on file and say open. And we do the exact same thing and found our cube, find our cube world 
folder under program files there we go and then we got these four uh, folders but you only need to worry about number one this program is just used to bring uh, edited cube world files into cube world so this is more of a let's say a, a transfer program rather than a editing tool this is the editing tool right here and that's the one we need to worry about right now whoops there we go so we'll just full screen that great now we have this grid but what we can do is we can find a model out here for example I can double click this and we get what looks like an alpaca body uh, now there's a ton of stuff I'll just scroll down I mean if you if you're looking for something special it's very easy to find uh, these are in-game files so please don't try to mess with this um, but what you can do is you can let's see let's find something that we know let's say an undead uh, let's mess with the, the frog there's a frog race in this um, in this game I don't like it very much but perhaps you like it but you can obviously choose something else so let's try in the frogman okay so we got the frogman here and we take the frogman head one let's just take the number one right there great okay that is perhaps not the best thing to edit because it has separate eyes so perhaps we should check the human head but I don't want to mess with that I'll just go with another undead I think that's the easier choice so we'll find the undead I do apologize for that the undead is down here you undead and we'll mess up with um, mess the female head up and let's just take number two and do that great so here we have a female undead head and you can see it has all these um, wires on top and you can obviously toggle those off if you want to toggle whatever toggle the uh, wireframe off right there so you can see what it would look like in game uh, I like to have them on it just makes it uh, a bit easier to craft around up in options you can also to toggle the grid off uh, but it's just nice because it shows you where the bottom are, are even though you can just move your cursor around and um, you have that uh, I'll just turn it back on and face highlighter doesn't do anything really and you could change the background color if you want to uh, so we'll just choose a nice blue there we go okay that is too bright definitely too bright definitely too bright I think this is a bit nicer yeah that's okay a, little, a bit darker there we go great um, now what you do here is you place blocks with the left block and you erase blocks with the what am I saying you place blocks with the left click on your mouse and place block and erase blocks with your right mouse button so place blocks and erase with rice right <laughs> with rice you erase the rice ah uh, damn it so we can place blocks like this and uh, it becomes part of the model now let's just give this guy some fangs that would look kind of cool so we got some fangs right there and we can erase blocks off the the already established model just by right clicking now you can also change the color of your uh, blocks you do that by going to options once again and choose brush color so let's perhaps grab something green and uh, oops I just deleted something there that's okay uh, something green that's that looks kinda weird uh, we can give it green eyes as well um, and perhaps do something else as well brush color let's just do this blue thing why the hell not and uh, there we go that is definitely weird if you hold in Q you get this which is a very strange thing it's sort of a, a, a spamming tool where you can just do that 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 and we get this weird looking thing um, very cool very cool now I can imagine having hours of fun of messing around with these uh, these models in cube world and then exporting them but you know what let's say we are done now um, it is a rather tedious way to do it uh, constantly changing color here except uh, um, 
in comparison to if you just had maybe that in the right corner or something and you could just constantly pick the color uh, besides having to go to options that is that's kind of annoying but this is very much a very simple tool and uh, i'm sure someone will figure out later how to do a more advanced tool where you have more advanced um uh editing editing options perhaps some um uh what do you call that mirror effect as well where if you do one thing on the other one side uh it will re replicate on the other side uh hopefully something like that will come in the future and uh, I myself am looking very much forward to that. Okay, oops. Um, so let's say that we are done now and we want to export this into uh, Cube World. So thing we do is we go up to file and we say save as. Now, what we have right here is the option to save it and it's gonna save it as a .cube file, dot cub file which is a cube world file now you see all these files are also cube world files what you want to save it as you want to save it as the same name file because that's the uh, file you want to replace um, when you import the file into cube world it's going to replace the already established file so if you don't want to lose that file uh, back it up or if you uh, log in to cube world it will automatically update the uh, uh, data one uh, database so it will automatically uh, remove all custom blocks so if you have something you've messed around with and you just want to reset everything you can just do that or just back these files up and uh, yeah so that is definitely something you should consider to back these files up and uh, the way you do that is before you start um, editing your files, just save that uh, onto a desktop. So we'll just go ahead and save as under builds and we'll save it as, uh, we'll just rename. Okay, so it's M, so it's F02.cube. Yep, that is the file name. So there we go. Now we have saved this onto our desktop. So we can actually just close this and we don't need that anymore. What we need now is the asset browser. So open that up and uh, you can see our saved file is, I, I've, I saved it under the bills folder. It's right here. Uh, so it's under head female 02. Um, excuse me. Uh, it's right there, great. So what we'll do here is we'll go into the asset browser and click edit and click insert and then we'll go and find it and it's desktop builds there we go that's it open and that's it um you can see it's right there but it was there before as well it's right uh let's see oh yeah it's in the bottom you can see it's in the bottom that's the way you know it's been imported because it's out of line with the uh, all the other um, it's not alphabetical, so you know the all your custom models are going to be at the bottom if they're not alphabetical uh, So great. Uh, I have two customized models now So we can just close that down and close this one as well now if you want to see your custom models in cube world don't Open cube world with the launcher if you open the cube world with the launcher as I said before it will reset the entire data one database and erase all your customizable files because it's essentially checking and updating. Um, so don't do that. What you want to do is you want to go into your cube world folder uh, located on the program files, uh, depending on whether you are 32 uh, bit system or 64 bit system, uh, and go and select the .exe file, which is this one right here, cube, not cube launcher, cube. So we'll just launch that and it it will just take a second and hopefully we're getting there there we go now we inside cube world and we can start game right there create a new character there we go and we can choose our undead and we can choose female and we can choose face number two there we go we got this very strange obviously there's some hair on top maybe we can remove that if we just so this is a secondary um, 
secondary file on top which you can also mess with if you want to create some funky look in here but here we have our customized model of this beautiful little undead <laughs> wife or whatever um, we can also chase the race oh, that is a fairly annoying sound Ugh. well there you have it that was a quick tutorial on some of the more uh, on well basically something I will be doing in the future a lot at least just by myself um, I really find this very very enjoyable I think it's it's really fun and um, I can't recommend Cube World enough it's such a great game and it's really fun and uh, it's really fun to play with friends as well because um, well, that really adds to the experience besides that there's not really any real quests although they have that planned but uh, this is certainly extremely fun and uh, very creative and you can really mess the game up and uh, edit the trees and all that. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I thank you guys so much for watching and uh, bye.